everyone. So I have the November uh, box from Our Atelier. This is a Japanese themed um, box for the month of November and I'm very excited to open it up on camera so you guys can see what I got. Um, there we go. Definitely going to use this with um, <laughs> so I can finish off my Japan um, uh, insert from 2019. Yeah, I know. I haven't finished it yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the box. This box came actually in really good condition. <laughs> Not that it matters, um, but yeah, usually they come all smashed up. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get the first stuff. Okay, so Rosie, if you're watching this, I really love that you're using, you're reusing calendars here to wrap our stuff because we will end up reusing <laughs> this paper, you know, in our planner or in our journal or in a collage. So yeah, it's a, uh, I wouldn't mind even just buying one of these. I wish I lived near Chinatown because I remember seeing them always having them around. I mean, I'd buy one just to be able to use it for um, collage purposes. Maybe I'll get one of my friends in San Francisco or the Bay Area to get me one. See, I'm trying to be really careful here at ripping, well, not ripping, taking it off. Maybe I can just push the washi through. Okay, I'll try that. Nope. <laughs> it's not working. Okay, well, I'll just cut it. Darn it. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, okay. So it's like watercolor um, swatches. So there are three. That's actually pretty. I like these colors. Um, they're very muted. I'm starting to get in the whole muted color um, aesthetic. There's something about it that just, uh, you know, it appeals. I guess because of a lot of the stuff that I was getting from um, Amazon for Junk Journal was a very muted um, palette. And then I noticed that a lot of the stuff that's in the previous kits from our atelier is also very muted. So. Okay, almost got it. So this is a stamp for um, this month. I'll just put this paper over here and I don't know what you call it but it's really cool if anybody out there that can read Japanese let me know what what that says on there so we've got the first pack of cards and they're in color and they're awesome look at that I like the cardstock it's really thick and it's a textured. Beautiful. Oops, I guess I'm out of focus. There we go. I'm trying to keep my eye. <laughs> okay, it's trying to focus on what's in the back. There we go. I'm actually thinking of buying a new lens for my camera, but it's a prime, so I don't know how that's gonna work out with filming, because it's gonna be pretty wide. I wanted to kind of get something that's a little bit more all-purpose for travel, for filming YouTube and the sort, but we'll see. I just need to order it while it's on sale. I hope by the time I order it, it's still on sale. Okay, this is interesting. It's a different envelope. I like this, Rosie. So, definitely want to reuse this. Okay, actually. 
actually, I need to put these back. Oh, wow. Stickers. It's like, I want to know what these say. I'm going to have, maybe if I run it through Google Translate, it'll tell me. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I have it upside down. <laughs> we got more of these. Oh, wow. I've actually, okay, hold on here. Let me, there we go. So this is an um, Asukasa or Asakusa. I don't know how, which way you want to say it or how it's pronounced, but um, I've been there with the big Tory gate and then the, um, the lantern. It is ginormous. And if you ever go, make sure that when you walk through this, the gate, you look straight up because you will be amazed at the ceiling. A lot of people don't realize that. They just take a picture in the front of the lantern and then they just go right through and they don't pay attention yet. So that, and of course, this is probably Mount Fuji, which is so beloved by the Japanese. They say our tour guide, our Japanese tour guide told us that if you haven't seen Mount Fuji while you're in Japan, then you haven't been to Japan. Okay. So Sinau Lake, and then we have here, this is like printed on like handmade paper. With Mount Fuji, this will work so well in that insert. I can't wait to use it in the insert. Okay, so this is very pale. And sorry if you hear my heater coming on. we go more stickers and it's like on a shiny um, surface they feel a lot more high quality I guess it's, it's the only word I can think of look at that it's a fan and then we have geisha Yes, of course, because the neck, the back of the neck here was like very uh, erotic to be, to view. Um, that's the reason why the geisha obviously wear the kimono that way. Yeah, I guess if you watch Memoirs of a Geisha, you'll know that. That's what they said. Um, whoops, Dharma. Love this scene. Okay, so here we go again with uh, Mount Fuji. Look at these. Beautiful. I love all of this oh, with the fish on a full moon, the cranes, there's a cat. Yeah, these are awesome. What did I do with the envelope? Oh, that's right. It was in that one. I was looking for the white envelope. <laughs> okay. I hope that Japan will open back up soon because um, me and my mom want to go back so bad. Spend more time in Tokyo. We didn't really get to go. I mean, we're on a tour bus, so we didn't get to really do a lot of walking around Tokyo. We probably spent more time in Kyoto than we did in Tokyo. Not that that was a bad thing. Kyoto is amazing. Um, but yeah, I still want to be able to go around Tokyo and do some shopping there. Okay, so here we go with the next envelope of um, ephemera. This, this box is amazing. I mean, I think this is in my top five for sure of um, boxes from our atelier. Okay, so let's pull this out. This obviously was the November box, so it's gonna have the month, the next month to show. And then, I think these are stickers. They look like they're book covers. And then you've got image of probably a geisha walking home. Beautiful. This reminds me of um, 
a shop in Kyoto that has like the cloths that you can like hang on the wall or frame um, with imagery like this. see it but it's got hold on here so there we go yeah same thing it was like that's I see stuff like that um, so you got Mount Fuji with the cranes there okay and then here's another one let's see oh beautiful now this is on a river with probably like the cherry blossoms last piece here another one of well this one is of the ocean wave I forgot the name of the artist the one that's really well known for doing that one particular painting I wouldn't be surprised if there's one in here and we've got one of the cranes on vellum sorry I'm just sliding that in there okay oh I'll have to straighten this one out it's probably seen from a famous book oh I like this it's a grid, you know me and grid, more grid, <laughs> grid on um, vellum. So we have labels here, which always come in handy. Um, and then the smaller pieces. So these are just various That looks so familiar. I wonder if that's the same temple in Asakusa. Okay, or Asakusa. Oh, look at that. It's cute. Ooh, a kitten with a uh, ramen noodles. And let's see. The mask. Aw, that's cute. Yeah. Okay. All right, so moving on, the next thing is the um, stamp set. Oh, I need to put it behind a darker background. So, oh, maybe not. <laughs> so we have here some of the famous, um, like this one right here, I know it's pretty famous. There is Mount Fuji, they got the cranes. This one looks like a uh, Fushimi Inari, uh, the, um, it's like you've seen it on Memoirs of a Geisha where she's running through all those Tory gates. And then um, this one is like two guys pulling a rickshaw. This one says Kobe, Japan. And then uh, this one says 20 sen, but I don't know, unless on sen now. And this one is like a, looks like it could be like a person. It is a person walking up to a temple, I believe, through the woods. So, it's a pretty cool um, stamp set. All right, and then we're getting down to the last bit. Oops, Burr. box fell here. Side. So the last set are the big pictures, and. Okay, so this is printed on handmade paper. Oh, this is beautiful. I like the yellows and the blues. And this one too. And you've got the handmade paper. Okay. And then these are some really big, like, I don't know if it's sticker sheet or not, but it's pretty. There you go. Isn't that cool? With all the umbrellas at the bottom there. This looks like it's also probably in um, Sakasa, Asukasa. <laughs> okay, so that is the rest of the box from Our Atelier for the month of November, which is, this is a vintage ephemera subscription box. Um, you have the option of just paying it every month or you can do one, um, two months or three months. You get a little discount if you do two or three months. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, this unboxing with me. 
and um, I believe next month's theme is like sh fairies, like the Nutcracker. So I'm gonna be ordering a box soon. Um, I've been getting these boxes now for, I would say almost, almost like two years now. I think I started getting the boxes back in the spring of last year when we all went to stay at home. Um, Cause I figured, hey, you know, can't go shopping anywhere. Um, and I wanted to, you know, start doing collage work, which I actually didn't even start until this year, but um, you know, it's never too late. So I'm trying to close this box here. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you again on the next haul. Okay, so have a great week and bye.